hello there. Sarah from 17 once again. Introducing you to uh, another fight with Artorius. This time a, a much more interesting encounter, which I hope you enjoy, because I enjoyed getting it. And basically, the setup I have here is this is a unfinished dex build. He's only got 20 dexterity, but it's a buff build, so he has 30 faith. And I'm playing around with Dark Moon Blade. I've not got Sunlight Sword yet, because I'm still powering up the this this miracle. And obviously, I cast the Dark Moon Blade. I'm also using Power Within, and I've got it on a Falcon. I, I were rotating between a couple of rapiers. I haven't got a Katana plus 14 yet, or plus 15. I've got a shortle pretty high and a painted guardian sword, so I'm just playing around with a couple of vanilla weapons to see which gives me the best result. And uh, for whatever reason, this encounter I used the falcon and it worked really well. So you'll notice I'm using the Darkwood Grain Ring. I don't know what it is about Artorius, but I cannot be aggressive and evade at the same time with the standard fast roll. There's not enough iframes, it doesn't recover from animations fast enough. Like, you'll notice during this fight, when he does the, the triple flip attack that everybody loves, I can wing an attack and still evade if he follows it up with another flip. You physically can't do that without the Darkwood Grain Ring. It's just, it doesn't respond quick enough and you get hit nothing you can do like this fight here right now the only reason I can be this aggressive and stay this close to Artorius to get these these quick hits in is because of this ring and be under no illusion you would have to play a completely different strategy to do what I'm doing right now with the slow roll mainly because power within is killing me and uh, this is a no heal run so the entire purpose of this fight is for me not to get healed or not to get hit that is literally the parameters that I was underneath but I am going to do a boss analysis of Artorius' attacks. I will be doing one for the Sanctuary Guardian so that I've got a full pair. If anybody would like something along those lines to the bosses in the standard game, I'm not, you know... I could do that. I know a lot of people might be getting fatigued over all the Dark Souls stuff, so I'm going to talk about a couple of new projects that you'll be seeing. I've got a lot of a lot of videos that I made during my unrender times, the times when I couldn't get videos to you. So there's going to be balls deeps that I haven't fully done. There's going to be a whole bunch of, of different things throwing up. Call of Duty commentaries, Gears commentaries, more Dark Souls PvP. And the next guide you're going to see is Darksiders 2. And uh, hopefully you'll stick with me, you'll enjoy it, and we'll continue to build this channel. So thanks for watching, guys, and you take care now.